you guys welcome back to my channel this is just a video showing you uh, my brow routine using the Anastasia Beverly Hills line um, this one will be with the pencils and the powder I won't be using the dip brow in this video um, so uh, just a couple of tips to give you guys when it comes to doing the brows is I always like to start with the bottom of the brow to get the shape right um, and then I like to do the top of the brow as well to create kind of an outline so I know what shape I want to get. I also uh, like to try to look straight ahead whenever possible while I'm doing my brows, um, looking straight ahead into my large mirror uh, rather than looking into a compact mirror. Um, I prefer to look into the compact when I'm doing the brows. To the second brow um, pretty much the same technique um, looking straight ahead so that I know exactly where I want my arch to be and I just look at both brows during the process to try to make sure that they both are as similar as possible don't forget that brows are sisters and not twins if you're able to make your brows look like twins I mean shout out to you um, I try to make them look as symmetrical as possible but you know, I'm not perfect, so just do the best that you can. Also, I like to do um, hair-like strokes, um, small strokes at a time when going through uh, with the pencil. And if I didn't mention it already, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. And it's very narrow and fine-tipped, um, so it makes it easy to be very precise. Um, you know makes the shape and the hairs look as realistic as possible so now you'll see that I'm going through um, with the brow definer um, that just helps make everything deeper and darker. So I use the color ebony. Um, I like my brows to be on the more bold side, um, depending on the makeup I'm doing that day, but I still like to go kind of bold. Um, so now you'll just see, I'm just kind of going over my brow with that definer to make it deeper. Um, same small strokes. Um, try to be as light handed as you can. You can see the difference with how much darker it makes the brow look. Just makes it look way more defined. I like that defined look. So now I'm just um, carving out my brows to make sure they look nice and clean. Um, I'm using the Lancome Tint e Doll Concealer. It's my favorite concealer, especially under my brows. If you have any little bit of hair, it kind of conceals the hairs as well. Um, so I'm using the BH Cosmetics brush. I'm not sure what number brush this is, but it's a dual sided brush. I think it's the only or one of the few dual sided brushes they have. So if you check them out, I'm sure you can find it. Um, I love this brush for my brows and um, I'm just carving them out and I would say try not to go too too light on the under brow concealer I know some people like to go super bright you don't need to go that much brighter um, so that's just the tip and as you can see I finished my second brow off camera and then I am going into the duo powder palette in chocolate and I like to use this to set my brow, whether I'm using pencil or um, pomade. Um, this just helps everything stay in place and last as long as possible. I have combination oily skin, so sometimes my 
eyebrows get oily. Um, so using a powder to set them will help um, the brows stay in place for much longer, if not all day, at least almost all day. Lastly, I'm using the Anastasia uh, brow gel. It's just a clear brow gel, I believe. And I just use it to set my brow hairs into place. Um, they do tend to kind of go all over the place sometimes. So I'm just using that to further set them into place. And this is the finished look. And then I will, of course, be doing my makeup after this little moment right here. All right, you guys, so this is the makeup look that I had for the day. And this is how my brows turned out after I finished the rest of my makeup. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I get questions about my brows all the time, so I like to update my videos. So please give this a thumbs up and subscribe and share if you care. Bye.